Write the equation of the given line in slope-intercept form. y equals 3 halves times the quantity x minus 4, and then on the outside of the quantity we have minus 10. Now in order to follow these directions, we have to rewrite this equation that's given like this and put it in a certain form called slope-intercept form. And if you recall, slope is usually denoted with the letter M, while the y-intercept is denoted with the letter B. So, if you uh, heard that and you started thinking about y equals mx plus b, you are correct. That is the form we are supposed to give our answer in. So, using that as a guide, let's look at our given version of the equation and see what we can do to make it look like this form. Notice that there is no, there are no parentheses, so we can simplify by clearing the parentheses. We're going to do that by distributing the three halves inside to both terms inside the parentheses. So we'll have three halves times x and then three halves times negative four. Then we'll need to simplify. Notice that there is a way to reduce this fraction here. 2 goes into 4 two times. So then all we have left to really worry about is the negative 3 times the positive 2. So when we simplify that, we get 3 halves x minus 6, and then the minus 10 was brought down from the step above. Notice that the 3 halves only got distributed to the items inside the parentheses, while the negative 10 on the outside of the parentheses was left as is, and then brought down. And at this point now, we can combine these like terms so that we have a simplified version of the problem and our final answer. y equals 3 halves times x minus 16.